setting up a 60 gallon aquarium with Robin Sherry. Guys, and welcome to part three of setting up a 60 gallon aquarium. And in this episode, we're going to be adding water and uh, tweaking the system a little and uh, uh, getting ready to put the core inside of our tank. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Just remember, we're beginners having fun and we hope you're having fun too. So here we go. Down the hallway there is where the aquarium is. We fired up the pump, primed it. You actually have to use your mouth to prime it. There's no pump. Anyway, no problem. Got her fired right up. Now we got to put our additive in to uh, decrease our chlorine. And we have to put two drops per gallon. So Sherry's going to do 120 drops. And we're using the uh, Declore. Declore. And anyway, so she's going to put 120 20 drops into that. And then we'll add it to the water. Uh, our thermometer it says let sit in the uh, aquarium for a half hour before you fire it up. We set it for about 78 degrees and uh, so we're just going to start letting the system run and uh, start building <laughs> start building our bacter bacteria. Yeah. And uh, next up is plants and plants and decorations. Decoration. So and then get the water tested to make sure we're good on balance. Yeah. By the fish. Yep. So yeah, our uh, local fish store will test our water. So when we think we're ready for fish, we'll take a water sample over, have them test it, and then start with some plastic fish that can handle water that's prepped early, and then we'll get into more delicate fish later. But yeah, so let me take you over here real quick. And uh, coming out real nice. <laughs> we are not filling it to the top because we're going to put decorations in and stuff. We don't know how much water displacement that will be. The pump is quiet. That's it. Super, super quiet. So, I like that. So, yeah, very happy so far and we haven't flooded the house so we're doing good. Okay, so we just got our 120 drops. We're going to add that to the water. Very little. Very little. That's it. <laughs> Was that exciting or what? So that'll dechlorinate our water. And now it's time to let her run for as long as we can to start getting some bacteria in there and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're happy so far. Kind of weird, you know, I gotta admit putting 100, uh, six, 60 gallons of water in your house in a tank that you gotta trust. Uh, thank, thank goodness we have tile floors. Um, however, it's next to our bedroom. This does have a carpet, but let's hope we never have to worry about that. So, yeah, looking good. Next time, we're going to be starting to put toys in. Just when you think you're done, we forgot to tell you that we're going to put a little temperature gauge or a thermometer on the side of our tank. We're playing around with location for our thermometer. We're going to put it on the side over in the corner here where it's not quite an eyesore. We didn't want to put it in the front of the tank. And uh, so, yep, it just sticks on there, right? I don't want to put it too low because the water level, but red and is that okay? So the next thing we got to put uh, is our lid back on. And we got little handles to install. Then I think we're ready to put toys in it. Okay, so we're putting our lids on, and uh, we have a soft rubber here. So this just has a wire coming out of it for the uh, thermometer or the heater. And this side, I think we're going to take the rubber off for now um, until we're ready to. We're really happy where all the tubing, where all of our plumbing is. Then we can cut some little. Uh, notches. slots or notches in here for the for it but for now we may just pull it off until we're ready to do that but yeah so we got to put some little handles right here and here so we can lift up the top 
and then we're done with that. So the tank's been sitting for about 24 hours and uh, we're going to let it sit through the week. Then we're going to go uh, get a water sample over the weekend and maybe introduce our first fish or so. So a day ago I went shopping with my wife and I, if you have your wife involved in this thing, you cannot decorate it. You can get the decorations, but with Sherry, it's going to be hands-on. So there's no way I could put anything in that tank without her adjusting it. It's kind of like loading the dishwasher. You know, guys, if you load the dishwasher, they'll come in behind you and rearrange it. Same thing with aquarium. So I want to show you what I got. So we want to go with a little bit of a natural look. And it will be kind of hard to see all this with this counter, but um, we wanted to have a few tall things and hiding places for our fish. And uh, pretty much like a an old pond, old wood look. And yes, if you haven't noticed, we are not using live plants yet. Our tank can handle live plants. If we do that, we want to make sure we understand our plants better and we want to make sure that we get some minerals and fertilizer for the areas that we do plant. But until then, we're just going to go with <laughs> fake plants. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we got so far and we'll see how it looks. So Sherry got our decorations and washed them all up and got them all dried out here. And now she's got to put them in. Next piece. So what we're doing here first is just putting our decor inside the tank and just kind of getting a general idea where we want to put them. And then once we do that, we'll lock them into the, the substrate or the gravel. And then we'll probably decide, oh, <laughs> we'll need 20 other things for it. But so far, that's what we're doing. Well, it's been a few days later. We introduced a new member to our family. Uh, we have a long ways to go. Uh, this first fish we wanted to get, uh, well, actually we've got two males, and um, they're community fish and very hardy, so we thought we'd start off with these two fish, but there's more to come. Stay tuned. Hey, thank you for joining us on part three of setting up a 60 gallon aquarium. Stay tuned for future videos where we show you our new community and some of the changes that we make as we go. Special thanks to all the people that make videos and tutorials about setting up an aquarium.